Privatisation of our water supply has been an abject failure. Consumers are routinely ripped off to generate excessive profits. In the last 10 years, water companies have paid a thousand times more in dividends to shareholders than they've paid in corporation tax. Meanwhile, investment in the industry is woefully inadequate and leaks are commonplace. Thames Water, for example, has just been fined £55 million for failing to prevent leaks. And to add insult to injury, Seven Trent, the water company covering Derby, has been unwilling to pay adequate compensation after a catastrophic burst water main caused widespread flooding last year. Some of the homes affected in the Chester Green area of Derby North were completely wrecked, but the householders who were flooded have only been offered a one-off £100 reduction in their water bills, despite Seven Trent turning over more than £1.5 billion last year alone. Furthermore, Seven Trent's chief executive is reportedly England's highest paid water company boss and pockets 13 times more than the Prime Minister's annual salary. Seven Trent failed my constituents by not maintaining their infrastructure and then failed them again by not paying for the damage caused by their burst water main. Privatisation has created cavalier corporations that put private profit before public service. And that's why the next Labour government will take them into public ownership.